Hey, Manic Bash, 22nd of June, 2019. It's been hard to get on here, you guys. i got to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not fond of looking at these things in the world uh, these days. So I've been doing many other things. I hope you're all well. I truly do. I just wanted to share with you this uh, article that I came across yesterday about the Serpent Mound in Ohio which happens to be the largest serpent effigy in the world. And of course, nobody knows what it is, who built it, when they built it, or why they built it. But regardless, tonight, June 22nd, people will gather. There'll be a druid gathering to await the sunset. The sunset aligns perfectly with the serpent's head and the egg tonight. June 22nd, the first day of summer. This has everything to do with the portals of the sun, moon, and stars. That's what this is. And you can find all about it in detail in the book of Enoch. Which is also, you know, it's all over scripture. That there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. Okay? And Enoch describes in detail how the sun, moon, and stars are actually set in the firmament. The gates in which they enter and exit, everything is here. And tonight, what this represents, this um, serpent mound ritual that they're holding tonight, this is the entrance of the sixth gate. This is the last gate before the sun starts back towards the south. The days begin to get shorter. So that's what this represents. In, in Enoch, this would be the sixth gate tonight okay now there's a lot to this you guys but i believe that the powers that be are just about ready to do some spectacular things in the sky to basically deceive the world and seek to change times this is just what comes to me you guys i don't fully understand it but i know that it has something to do with this and it has something to do with the ipet goat because the egg you know, all you know, you can look this stuff up. There, there's a there's a million different depictions of this thing, but it's it's been around since the beginning, and it's depicted perfectly in I Pet Goat, which just so happens to be right at the same scene where we're seeing all this, uh, you know, the stuff in the Middle East that's going on, with the Muslims and the oil, and the rumors of wars. I mean, we know these things are coming. There is no way around it, okay? And it goes right to this primordial egg, right after we see the Statue of Liberty, okay? This is important because New York right now is hosting the largest pride celebration ever, okay? New York City, Pride Month, and they call it progress, when we know it's the exact opposite because pride is, in fact, what comes before the fall. And I've never seen so much pride pushed so hard, so heavy, ever. This is Sodom and Gomorrah all over again, people. And this, New York City, Statue of Liberty, sitting on the Star of David. Why? Because the synagogue of Satan runs the United States. And the light of liberty is extinguished. And then we go directly to a praying fetus in an egg being consumed by a serpent. Okay? This is what we're looking at. This is the sixth gate. Okay? And I, again, I don't know exactly what it means. But I know between this going on, okay, and this ritual that they're doing on the Serpent Mound, which is depicting the Sixth Gate, which means a change in times, that the powers that be, are. this is a milestone or a time marker, if you will. This indicates the next stage of their agenda to bring in their new world order, their Antichrist which happens to be the very next scene we see the Antichrist introducing himself to the world. This is just insanity, you guys. But this is what I see. 
I, I can't get around it. I believe it's pointing to New York City because of this pride, which is just off the charts. This is insanity at its finest, folks. And it's interesting, too, because the exact duration of the day today, sunrise to sunset, 13 hours, 33 minutes, and 26 seconds. I mean, there's rebellion and lawlessness everywhere we turn. <laughs> Please, go look at Enoch, though. I'm not telling you that this is, you know, sacred text, but I do tell you that it absolutely describes how the sun, moon, and stars work. And this is what the powers that be are seeking to deceive you with. Okay, you need to be in the spirit of Christ because he is the only savior. Without him, death. Simple. It's very simple. And the things that follow when we see this antichrist spirit here, we, we watch the world essentially start to fall apart. You see what I'm saying? The wars, the financial chaos, all these various things are going to come to pass. And you need Jesus Christ in order to withstand, in order to understand, and in order to escape. The scriptures tell us, pray, pray that you be found worthy to escape these things that are coming upon the earth. And that is a fact. Okay? So, hopefully this makes a lick of sense to somebody, because this is very significant. All this midsummer stuff that's occurring is off the charts, you guys. It really, truly is. And I'm going to link all this stuff because my brain can't fully put it together. It's just it's just too much. There's way too much going on. But I also know that this is showing us that we are ever so close to this world becoming like nothing you've ever seen. It's already bad enough, okay? So if you haven't sought out Jesus Christ, seek him now while he can be found, okay? So I wanted to share this. Hopefully it'll upload. YouTube has been acting really weird. I wonder why. But regardless, peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 